We all eventually die at some point in the DMZ, and after every death we have to spend time getting back all of our gear. There are many ways to do this, but today I'm going to show you one of the fastest and safest methods for regaining as a solo in the DMZ. Anyways, enjoy the video, the build will be at the end, and don't forget to smash that subscribe button so you can find your way back to the channel. Alright. Under the regain we go. Underbarrel. Suppressor. Pretty nice. Must have some ammo in it, huh? Oh no, it doesn't. One, two, three, four. Oh, laser's the fifth attachment. Nice. Two plate off the bat. I like that. Better start than before already. Take this too. I think we're gonna loot a little quicker and only look for wooden boxes this time. Wooden boxes and green boxes, like these and woodens. I think that's all I'm gonna focus on this time. I also need backpacks and stuff, so. Yeah. What am I talking about? I'm gonna hit everything. <laughs> Almost everything. I need a backpack, so I'm at least gonna check everything until I get a backpack. There we go. Perfect. Nice, okay. Now we're just looking for back or for boxes. Greens and browns. I'm taking a Bryson. I know that gun. I'll just put this in the backpack. Yeah, I want a shotgun. Ultra One, activity is increasing near your location. Stay alert. Still need a three plate though too. I should check most things until I get a three plate as well. Yeah, whatever, we're just leaving. Nice. That is beautiful. Okay, where'd my... Okay, my scoop is there. Perfect. There we go! I'm glad I came into here. I was almost gonna skip this area and I was like, nah, pretty sure there's a box over there. Let's go. Alright, regain complete liquid nitrogen found. Let's get out of here. Good enough for me. Good enough for me.
jumper cables are right there. Oops, I did not mean to throw that. Oh, battery's up here too. Nice. It's actually sweet. Uh, we'll drop. Did he stick me? Oh, I thought I got stuck again, bro. I was like, no way. No way, right? Looking good. Pretty quick regain, too. Pretty quick regain. You can come in here with any weapon and just pick up a shotgun, too, and just breeze through the AI. I forgot that's what I used to do when I go to Koshe. Just take one of their shotguns. Partic Generally, this one, Bryce 800, is my favorite for Koshe. Um, or KV Broadside. Or the other Bryson. Both Bryson's and the KB Broadside. Pretty decent options. Nice. Liquid nitrogen, baby. Let's go. Should have probably put on a scuba mask, but whatever. It's not a big deal. You just get one in a gas station whenever. Nice. That was a quick regain. That was a very quick regain. I would definitely rank Koshe up there as one of the best regains, especially for a solo. Because that was, I mean, that was fast. And there's nobody even, go like, nobody even goes here, it seems like, anymore. So it's super safe. You know what I mean? That was an extremely fast. The part that took the longest is really just the double loading screen, right? You got to load into Almazra, then get to said entrance, and then load in. So that's really the downtime part, but it's super low risk. So I would definitely put Koshe as one of the best regain locations in DMZ. Absolutely. Absolutely. Especially in terms of, like, risk versus reward. There's almost no risk with a ton of reward. You could go in with absolutely nothing, but like a throwing knife, kill an AI inside of Koshe, grab their gun, and just, you know, get to work.